Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, my name is Habon Mohammed. Um, I'm from Somalia. My name is Tavia. I am 21 years old. Uh, bipolar disorder is when your mood's very shocking. Like there'll be periods of times where you'll be fine and you'll be happy, and then after what a couple of weeks or so, you just feel very, very depressed and don't really know what to do with life. But it varies at times. It could be very manic, and I'd be like ridiculously happy for a short period of time, and then after that outburst, I'll just be very depressed. Um, I suffer from mild depression and I also have a disassociative disorder. So with depression you just go through some bad stages and you just don't want to do anything whatsoever. Um, so that can really affect a lot of things, it can affect work or study or anything like that because you just don't want to get out of bed or do anything um, or feed yourself or shower or anything. Um, and then with disassociation um, it affects me in that um, sometimes when I'm like in a busy social, social situation with like a lot of friends or we're at a restaurant and sometimes I disassociate from my surroundings so I like I can't relate to what's happening around me and I just sort of go into like a mental fog um, and I can't connect to what's happening and I find it hard to converse with people. Uh, well I'm a musician and um, so yeah I'm a singer-songwriter and the thing is with bipolar it does really affect my it does really affect my work in a good way and a bad way at the same time it's easier for me to express myself but at the same time it's really hard for me to withhold certain things which makes me quite vulnerable um with my with my day-to-day -day life i think it affects probably my friends and family the most because at times i don't really know how to control myself or do do things the way normal people would do and people that don't suffer with mental illness and um, I think it affects me in a way where like it's very hard for me to do certain things like sometimes it's just very hard for me to just get out of my house. It, it can make just everyday situations quite hard for me I mean like I said before it makes me hard to converse with people sometimes um, and um, the depression just every now and then I just don't want to get out of bed which can you know affect everything. <laughs> the hardest part is probably knowing or trying to figure out what makes what what um, emotions I'm actually feeling whether the actual emotions or whether it's just my disorder. So it does really interfere with relationships and friendships a lot. Sometimes I don't really know whether I, I feel good or bad about something, or whether it's just this thing, this cloud over my head, controlling everything. People look at you when you say that you've got a mental illness, especially one like disassociation disorder. Like one, they don't understand it. And two, when you do explain it to them, they can't really, they don't really understand and they're just sort of a bit like, you're, you're kind of weird. Um, and then with depression, they're like, oh, everybody's got depression. So it can be quite hard the way that people look at you. My name is Natasha Benjamin and I'm the founder of Free Your Mind. Free Your Mind is a childhood domestic violence and mental health support service. Um, we support young people affected by domestic violence and that means they've grown up in those environments um, and they have suffered trauma. So we deal with the mental health side of things and also give them support in a number of different ways. Um, I definitely think that mental health is on the rise in young people, um, mainly because of societal um, pressures. Um, we have social media now, we never used to, and you used to be able to close your door and, you know, um, move on from things or at least ignore it or hide from it. Now it follows you everywhere, it's, you, you are accessible from every sort of angle and that puts a lot of pressure on young people, um, there's a lot of pressure on how you look, um, there's a lot of pressure on young people in absolute general, um, especially um, 
Young people absorb things that are going on at home that they shouldn't do um, from their parents. You know, there's a lot of young people that carry um, the stress from the things that they see from their parents, so they're growing up too early. Um, I think there's an issue of young people growing up too early as it is anyway. And, and again, that's back to social media and everything that they're being fed and what they're seeing. So um, absolutely, yes. I think the media portrays mental illness in a way as if it's a, it's a brand, as if it's a, it's a trend. It's cool to be depressed. It's cool to take antidepressants or any sort of medication. But at the same time, they portray it in a way as people with mental illness are attention seekers and they, they have the choice of being able to feel what they're feeling. And that's, that's not fair. I feel like talking to people in person about what's happening with you can like just that itself help so much. I think I would just tell them to just keep going on because you know what, at the end of the day, you, you've got yourself. You're born with yourself and you, you're going to die with yourself. My first advice would be um, is that it's fine to speak out, don't be ashamed, asking for help is brave. Um, speak to your doctor, speak to a family member, speak to a friend. Just make sure you speak out because holding it in isn't going to help. Um, don't be ashamed. I've had mental health problems um, and I think that we are, as a society, getting better at speaking out about mental health problems and um, I would say just speak out, speak out, get the help you need, don't be ashamed.